interrupt our regularly scheduled programming to bring you this local Pueblo sports broadcast. This is CSU Pueblo Thunderwolves basketball on Fox Sports Pueblo 1350. Let's head courtside and join the voice of the pack, Jim Brooks. And thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Venerable Old Regis Fieldhouse here on the campus of Regis University, Denver, Colorado. As we get set for a showdown tonight on the women's side, CSU Pueblo undefeated on the year, 20-0. Overall, 14-0 in RMAC play. They take on the team that's right behind them, Regis University. They're 11-2 overall, or 11-2 in conference play, I should say. Two and a half games behind the Thunderwolves, but only two in the loss column. They are 16-2 overall. If the Thunderwolves win it tonight, they'll have the three-game edge on Regis, plus the, the head-to-head advantage. And the way the schedule looks down the stretch, when you uh, look at it, Thunderwolves... In my mind, I can say it. The coaches aren't going to say it. But uh, maybe two games that are threatening down the stretch when you really look at the way things go. One of them will be next Saturday night against Fort Lewis, just because they are Fort Lewis. They're not as good as they have been. But then there's that final game of the year looming at Colorado Mesa. So if the Thunderwolves win tonight, they'll have a three-game edge in the uh, loss column. And you can pretty much uh, write their ticket into the number one seed in the shootout. If they lose it, though, it opens the door for Regis. They've got a couple of tough games as well down the stretch. But that leaves the Thunderwolves a little bit vulnerable. They'd have to win out to uh, ensure winning the crown outright. Thunderwolves with a great effort last night at Shadron State. Knocking off the Eagles 77-54. to Regis here, they obliterated New Mexico Highlands 77-46. to Regis is going to be without their uh, post player, though, and it's she's a big one. Kaylee Rader, six foot four, senior out of Thornton, Colorado, averaging ten points, eight rebounds a game. She has a bum ankle, has it in a uh, not a boot, but kind of a uh, modified splint to uh, immobilize it. So she's out of action tonight. She missed last night's game as well. And we're not sure the timetable of what getting her back in the lineup, but that is a big hit to this Regis ball club. But they've got the weapons all around. Just because they're missing Kaylee Rader doesn't mean they're completely damaged. They've got Mary Siegler, who's a, a star player, averaging 13 points a game. Shante Church, he averages 11 points a game. Majest D. Robinson averages 11 points a game. So they can get scoring from a lot of different places, but they just don't have that cog in the middle in Kylie Raider. Come back after this timeout. We don't have our recorded interview tonight with Jim Turgeon. Something happened to my digital recorder between here and Chadron, Nebraska. It's probably laying on the table in Chadron, so we're going to try to get Jim on here live courtside when they come back out of the locker room, but we'll look for that when we come your way next. Thunderwolves basketball on Fox Sports Pueblo. Side here to Regis Field House, Thunderwolves and the Regis Rangers getting set to do battle here. Head coach Molly Marin has his team primed to pull off the upset tonight against the Thunderwolves. We'll see what happens here. Jim Turgeon feels like his team, they need to uh, be really focused. And uh, they remember a year ago when they got out rebounded, I think it was 47 to 21 or something obnoxious stat like that here. And Regis beat them 58 to 56. And just to remind the Thunderwolves, when they walked into the building here tonight, or this afternoon for the shoot-around, uh, Regis had up on the scoreboard the final score from last year's game, 58-56, as a subtle reminder to the Thunderwolves what happened a year ago. So the Thunderwolves want to, uh, that's one of the games they look back on to cost them a, a conference title that they uh, could have uh, taken on. Want to try, Jim? And we've got Jim Turgeon going to join us here courtside. Jim, thanks for doing this for us uh-huh. without our digital recorder. Uh, your thoughts going into this ball game? Well, obviously it's a huge game. Um, they're in second place. They're, they've won five or I think six in a row now. They're very hard to guard, and they're just scrappy as hell. You know, they beat us uh, on the boards last year. I think it was 46 to 19, 19 to two on the offensive rebound. So. Um, 
we're going to have to fight to win. Well, they're missing their big girl inside, but that doesn't mean they don't have a lot of weapons. Well, it, actually, in some ways, makes it makes them it makes them better because I, I they'll uh, transition better. Um, they'll just do some stuff. Now that kid that's out, she's a really good player and she's hard to guard. But they just change. This has changed the way they are. So uh, it's a little bit game, different game plan now. I guess there's one player to watch. It'd be Siegler for them out on top. Yeah, she's good and she's tough. I mean, very rarely do you have a, a, a three-point shooter that is tough as her because she she's obviously a very good three-point shooter, but she can drive it. She rebounds. Really, t you know, she's just like Katie Cunningham, but she shoots the ball more than Katie. I figure, I guess, uh, really, that's the word tonight. Tough. It's got to be tough against this ball club. They're going to bring it at you. Yeah, I, I, uh, you got to fight for 40 minutes to beat this team. Um, you know, I think we're, I think we're a tiny bit more talented than them, but they just fight and they scrap, and we got to have that same type of fight and scrap to, to win this game. All right, good luck tonight, buddy. All right, thank you. All right, we thank Jim Turgeon for coming by courtside for us, joining us live here before our broadcast as the Thunderwolves get set to do battle with Regis here. Thunderwolves, of course, uh, look pretty healthy coming in a nice ball game. Everybody, all right. Only thing we're worried about, Tule Sue Anderson complaining about her stomach a lot today. So we'll see. I think she was half joking, but uh, hopefully everything's all right with her. That was the only player I was a little bit worried about before this ball game, but she's out there. She warmed up well. So we'll just see how that goes. But uh, everybody else seems to be pretty healthy coming into this ball game. We mentioned uh, Regis with their problem with Kaylee Raider, six foot four senior post player out of tonight's lineup. But uh, that's one thing you worry about. This is what Jim Turgeon said. Sometimes a team's better. They, it's almost addition by subtraction. You lose a star player, but when that star player goes out, everybody rallies to the cause, and they do their job just a little bit better. And they pose some different problems for you. So we'll just see how the Thunderwolves adjust in this ball game. The main thing to watch, though, is the boards, just like it was a year ago. And the Thunderwolves, uh, you heard I said 47-20-1. Jim said 46-19. Any way you slice it, it was a big rebounding advantage. And Regis on the year, they are plus 10 on the boards. They out-rebound their opponents 42-32. to Thunderwolves, they also out-rebound their opponents, but not quite as big a margin, 41-35. Main difference in the two teams, perhaps you're going to cut down the stats. Thunder will shoot the ball a little bit. They're at 44%. Regis is at 39%. Thunder will shoot the three at 35%. Regis shoots it at 31%. Both teams turn the ball over about the same amount of times. Thunder Wolves average 75 a game, where Regis averages only 66 a game. Thunder Wolves give up 61. Regis gives up 56. So Thunder Wolves are plus 14 on the year. Regis is plus 10. Anyway, you slice it. These are two dynamite ball clubs. And we should have a great battle here tonight for this battle for uh it's not quite a battle for first place in the conference, but it goes a long way toward determining who just might be the conference champion when we get everything all settled down at the end of the year. We'll take one more final time out here. We'll come back. We'll have the starting lineups, the opening tip-off. It all comes your way next. Thunderwolves basketball on Fox Sports Pueblo. Fox Sports Pueblo 1350, an iHeart Radio station. Online at foxsportspueblo.com and on your phone with your iHeart Radio app. KCCY Pueblo. And welcome back to Denver. Here at Old Regis Fieldhouse. You know, it's old when you got brick all around you on the ends of the court. They got it padded, at least, behind the basket, so somebody gets knocked into there. It doesn't hurt quite as much, but it's still hard behind there. Set the starting lineups for tonight's ball game. First for the Thunderwolves, they'll go this way. It'll be Katie Cunningham, the six-foot junior out of Aurora, Colorado. Went to Grandview High School. Six points, ten rebounds. The game had 14 rebounds. Tied her season high last night. Season and career high against Shadron State. She also leads the team in assists per game. Almost five a game and steals two and a half a game. Taylor Long, five-foot-eight junior out of Moreno Valley, California. Seven and a half points, two and a half rebounds a game. Also chips in with two assists and outing. Tule Sue Anderson, five-foot-nine junior out of Vancouver. Cooper Washington, the team's leading scorer, 17 points, three rebounds a game. Lauren Hines, six foot one sophomore out of Loomis, California. She averages seven points, six rebounds a game. And the second leading scorer for the Thunderwolves, Molly Roar. She's a six foot three sophomore out of Greenwood Village. Went to Cherry Creek High School, 16 points, five and a half rebounds a game. Leads the team and the conference in block shots, averaging two, a little over two block shots a ball game. Head coach Jim Turgeon in his second year at the helm of the undefeated Thunderwolves. 
For the Regis Rangers, they'll go this way. It'll be Mary Siegler. She's a five foot nine junior out of Port Edwards, Wisconsin. She's the team's leading scorer, averaging 13 points, four rebounds a game. She's hit 38 three-pointers on the year to lead the ball club in that category as well. Shelby Espinosa, 5'11", sophomore in Austin, Texas, four and a half points, six rebounds a game. Jesse Robinson, she's a five foot six sophomore out of McKinney, Texas, 11 points, two rebounds a game. Carolyn Johnson, she's a 5'11 senior out of Littleton, Colorado, at the Littleton High School. 7.2 points, 6.2 rebounds a game. And Shante Church, 5'7 junior out of Rifle, Colorado, 11 points, 3 rebounds a game. Head coach Molly Marin in her second year at the helm here at Regis. Wonderwolves in their road red, blue numerals, white trim. They'll move right to left. We sit courtside here at Regis Fieldhouse. Regis there in their home whites with the gold numerals, blue trim sprinkled in there as well. Just finishing up announcing the uh, Regis Ball Club here. Pretty good crowd to start a women's ball game. It'll fill in as the night goes on, but people know this is the headliner here tonight. Doesn't mean the men's game is... Uh, some cupcake. It's a good one as well. As the Thunderbolts sitting in third place right now at 11 and 3. Regis right on the cusp of getting into the uh, shootout. The men's squad. In fact, if the season ended today, they would be that number eight seed. So that's what we have to look forward to a little bit later tonight. Molly Roar is going to jump center here. Regis now. Coming out onto the court, we'll see who they have jump center. Usually it's Kaylee Rader, but she's out. Looks like it's going to be Shelby Espinosa to jump center for the Rangers. Thunderbolts move it right to left, and the ball thrown in the air crooked, but it doesn't matter. They're going to let the Thunderbolts have it. That was a very poor toss in the air. Here's Hine at the top of the key. He hands it off to Long. They work it around the perimeter. Reaches in a man-to-man -man defense. Cunningham wants play number one. That goes down to Roar on the block. Backs her way in. Goes up with the left hand and left it short. And the rebound to Espinosa. And here come the Rangers. And bringing it across the timeline is Robinson. She's a set to drive to the hoop at any moment. She's picked up by Long. It's a tough assignment for her tonight. Like to set some high screens here. The three-pointer on the way by Church off the back iron. No good. Rebound loose. And it's saved on the baseline, but right to the Thunderwolves. Thunderwolves have a five-on-four advantage here. Man advantage. Long goes up top to Hines. She's open. Three ball on the way. It's off the back iron. It won't go. Rebound on the baseline. Belongs to Church. Well, Thunderbolts, a bit of a cold start here as they missed their first two shots of the game. And now Robinson will bring it across the timeline. She starts to drive into the paint, cut off there, kicks it outside. Now they go to the top of the key to Johnson, working onto the left wing to Church. Church now starts to drive, goes in from the left, left short. Rebound loose, picked up there by Tule Su. Anderson brings it across the timeline, onto the right wing, stops, and now will step back, gives it off to Cunningham, up top to Roar. Roar lobs it inside the hind. She goes up with the right hand, draws the foul, and the foul will be on Carolyn Johnson. Thunderwolves make an effort right away to get it inside to Hine. First possession, they got it down low to Roar. She wasn't able to hit. You know what a great Lauren Hine held scoreless in last night's ball game. Did have seven rebounds. First free throws off the back iron, no good. Jasmine snipes into the ball game now for the Rangers. Freshman out of Highlands Ranch with the Thunder Ridge. Second free throw up and good. So one out of two for Hine gets the Thunderwolves on the board first. It's one to nothing. Here's Robinson. She'll bring it across the timeline. To the top of the key, to the free throw line. Kills the dribble. Hands the ball off. Here's a drive in from the left. Shot way off the mark. It's an air ball, but it's rebounded on the other side by Snipes. And she hands it off. They reset the shot clock in error, so they're going to have to uh, take care of that. So they hit the old recall button. It's at 18, and now they'll let Regis put it in play over here on the uh, sideline right in front of us. It'll be Snipes with the honor. Gets it in outside to Robinson. Robinson, a couple bounces, steps back. A long three-pointer off the front iron. No good. Long rebound into the corner. Cunningham has it. Long down court feed. Long's wide open on the left wing. She'll pop a three-pointer. It's an air ball. And the rebound to Robinson. Robinson across the timeline. Nice pass in from the right shot. No, but a foul 
on Katie Cunningham. Katie lucky she didn't hyperextend a leg. She already has a brace on that left knee and kind of an awkward hit that time from Church, who was coming in from the left. Church to the free throw line to shoot a pair. Church on the year, 74% free throw shooter. Regis is the team, they shoot 71%. Free throw in and out, no good. Just get the feeling it's a nervous start for both teams here so far. They know what is on the line in this ball game. One more for Church, the junior out of rifle. Spins it up there and in. Overtime up at one apiece. Cunningham races it across the timeline, faced a little bit of pressure, but she dissected it easily. Long now back to Cunningham, up top to Hine. They're trying to find Roar. Down on the block, she has it. Fakes, fakes again. Puts the ball on the court. Comes outside to Anderson. Anderson going to step back and launch a three-pointer. Good. They backed off a Tule Sue, and she made him pay with the long three-pointer as they were trying to double-team on Roar. And by doing that, it left Tule Sue wide open. Four to one. Thunderbolts on top. Here's a drive to the hoop by Robinson. And she'll do it all night long, and she hits. That's where she is very dangerous. Four to three. Thunderbolts by one. Here's Long up top to Hine. Hine goes to Anderson to Roar. Roar wheel. Backs her way in. Three-second call on Molly Roar. She never cleared the lane. She started off over on the left side, came across the lane, but never cleared. And when the pass came into her, it was an easy call. Robinson across the timeline now for the Rangers. Dribble to the right wing, goes up top to Siegler. Siegler, the lefty, little jab step, steps back, can't get the free off as Cunningham stays right to her. Now Robinson lobs it inside, turning and facing as Espinosa goes up. Shot blocked by Roar, and the rebound to Cunningham. She'll bring it out of there herself. Across the timeline, into the corner to Tule Sue. Dribbles around the screen, now steps back. She'll pop another three-pointer. This one's short, and the long rebound. Ball knocked away, but comes right into the hands of Robinson. Robinson now with Roar to beat. In from the right, and the shot blocked again by Molly Roar. And Church out of the ball game and into the game for the first time. Lena Jaycox for the Rangers. Four to three. Thunderbolts on top. Inbounds pass comes into the corner to Jaycox. They're trying to get it down low to Espinosa, posting up on Roar. Now they go way outside to Robinson. Robinson starts to drive, steps back, won't pop the three. Now bumps in to Long, no call. Now outside, here's Jaycox. She'll launch the long three-pointer, way short, and Roar has the rebound. Outlet pass to Long. Long across the timeline, angles to the left wing. Now dribbles out top, gives it off to Roar, right side to Cunningham. Cunningham works around a screen, now steps back. Right side to Anderson. They're looking for Roar down on the block. They find her. She wheels, goes into the paint with the left hand, missed it. So Molly Roar 0 for 2 here in the early going. And the rebound belongs to Robinson for the Rangers. He's at the top of the key, works around the screen, steps back and fires the 3. It's short. Rebound to Cunningham. Cunningham now fires it ahead to Long on the left wing. Stops and pops from about 15 off the back iron. No good. And the rebound to the baseline belongs to Espinosa. Thunderbolt's ice cold here in the early going. Both teams are, for that matter. Down to 5.40 to go here in the first quarter. It's 4-3. to three. Thunderbolt's on top. Here's Robinson. Spins to the free throw line. Keeps the dribble alive. Steps back. Now starts to drive into the paint. Spins. Ball knocked away and stolen by Hine. Gives it off to Long. Long has uh, Anderson with her. Into the paint. Kicks it outside. Tule Sue fakes the three-pointer. Goes cross-court to Hine, but the ball goes off her hands. And it's stolen away by the Rangers. Back the other way they come. Robinson across the timeline. To the free throw line. To the paint. Cut off there. Comes way outside. Now they go to the top of the key. Swing it onto the left wing. With the ball there, three-pointer is good by Siegler. Makes it six to four, first lead of the game. Quickly back the other way, Tule Sue misses a runner on the left wing. Ice cold are the Thunderwolves. Back the other way comes Robinson. Stops at the top of the key, goes left side. Take, that's a walk. Shuffling the feet on the left side, Lena Jaycox. We've reached our media timeout. Slow start by both teams, but Regis has the last bucket with a three-pointer to give them the lead. They lead it 6-4. to four. Thunderwolves basketball on Fox Sports Pueblo. Six to 6-4. Thunderwolves trailing it by two here. And the shooting abysmal so far. CSU Pueblo one of eight from the field. Regis not that much better. They're two of ten. 
Regis with a 9-6 to six edge on the boards. Each team with a couple of turnovers here so far. Cunningham brings it across the timeline for the pack. She's at the top of the key. Lobs it to Roar at the high post. Turns, faces, goes left side to Cunningham. She'll drive in from the wing. Scoops it up and in. Katie Cunningham with her first bucket. I would give the assist to Molly Roar there because the pass led directly to the basket. But the Armag void of giving out assists. Here's a drive to the hoop. Shot on the way, no good. Ball to the baseline and... Jasmine Johnson has it for the Thunderwolves. She's into the ball game. Great game last night. Our star of the game interview. Hine goes left side to Long. Long gets it to Roar on the block. Turns, faces, goes outside to Jasmine. She'll pop the three-pointer. Off the back iron, no good. And the rebound belongs to Church. Gets it ahead to Jay Cox, and she'll bring it across the timeline for the Rangers. Drills around a screen. Right corner of the key comes outside. Now way back out top, left side to Church. Church dribbles around a screen to the free throw line. Stops at the free throw line. Gives it outside to Jaycox. 11 on the shot clock. Here comes Jaycox. She'll go to work. Ball knocked away. Long has the steal. She has Jaycox to beat. In from the left. Goes up with the left hand. Good. Taylor Long the steal and goes coast to coast to give the Thunderwolves the lead back 8-6. to six. Here comes Jaycox across the timeline. Dribbles around a screen to the right wing. Hands the ball off. Right side. They come out top. Hine almost had the steal. Left side to Church. Church works around the screen. Now drives to the baseline. Cut off there nicely by Jasmine Johnson. Feet back up top. Jaycox has it. Eight on the shot clock. Whistle and three seconds to call against Regis. Level playing excellent defense so far in this game. Long will come out. So does Roar. So does Hine. Moore, Beagley, and Tule Sue back in the game now for the Thunderwolves. They lead it 8-6. 3-12 to go here in the first quarter. Shelby Espinosa back in the ballgame. was kind of uh, mysterious. Uh, Robinson and Espinosa raced for the locker room. Now uh, Robinson just now coming out of the locker room. Back to the bench here. So I don't know if we got an illness situation going on here for Regis or what. But uh, they get two players back out on the court now. Jasmine drives the baseline. Cut off. Stops and pops. Left it way short. And the rebound belongs to Ducklow. For the Rangers. And Ducklow will bring it across the timeline. Hounded there by Tule Sue. Works around a screen, drives to the right corner of the key. Now comes outside, out of the top of the key. Driving left is Johnson. In on Beakley, left it short. Rebound comes outside, and Cunningham has it for the Thunderbolts. They're letting them play here so far tonight. Cunningham on the right wing. Back to Jasmine. Long three-pointer. Got it. Jasmine Johnson was about two feet beyond the arc. Still buried it. Thunderbolts was seven in a row now. Lead it 11-6 with 2.25 to go in the first quarter. Ducklow brings it across the timeline for the Rangers. Works around a screen, steps back, now dribbles to the top of the key, steps back again, comes outside with it. Here's a drive to the hoop by Siegler, and the ball blocked, and they call a jump ball. And now another official going to overrule on the play. First official called it a jump ball. The outside official comes over. I think he's going to call the foul here. And if it is, it would be on Katie Cunningham, I believe, and that would be foul number two. Nope, they're going to call it on Angie Moore instead. Our first little bit of controversy in the game. Oh, Siegler to the free throw line. 80% free throw shooter. Free throw's good. Our officials tonight, by the way, Anthony Carter. Chuck Galambo and Steve Stewart. One more for Ziegler, and she hits them both. She has five. That stops the run. Thunderwolves lead it 11-8. Here's full court pressure. Cunningham kills the dribble, gets it to Moore. Moore turns. Now we'll hand it off to Cunningham after dribbling it one time. That takes 10 seconds off the shot clock, though. Right side to Anderson. Up top to Jasmine. Down low to Moore. Wheels in the paint. Goes up with the right hand and lays it in. Good, strong move by Angie Moore. She turned into the key and then reversed to the right side and hooked it in. 13-8, Thunderwolves by five. Here's Robinson, top of the key. Now right corner of the key to Johnson, holds it. Now a hand the ball off. Here's a drive to the hoop by Siegler. It's good. Here's a whistle and a foul. It'll count. Oh, 
Oh, my, and the foul is on Katie Cunningham, and that is her second. That's a damaging call to the Thunderwolves right there. And she was going to come out of the game anyway, but now she has to come out, and Katie Jones checks in. Looks 13 to 10 with the free throw upcoming here for Siegler. She averages 13 points a game. This is the free throw. That's uh, a rare miss. It remains 13 to 10. Thunderwolves on top with a minute 30 to go here in the first quarter. We'll see how the loss of Cunningham hurts them as this first half goes along. Jones left side to Anderson. Now to Beagley. Beagley lobs it into Moore. Turns, faces, free throw line, jumper, good. Angie Moore with four. It's 15 to 10. Thunderwolves lead it by five. A minute 12 to go here in the first quarter. Robinson brings it across the timeline, angles to the left wing, stops there now, reverses, slips to the deck, gets the pass away outside to Ducklow. Ducklow palms it. They don't call it. They're going to call it once tonight. They just did decide not to call it there. On to the right side. Here's Ziegler for three. It's good. And it's 15 to 13. Ziegler has 10 already for the Rangers. Jasmine Johnson brings it across the timeline. Goes up top to Tulay Sue. Now to Jones. Jones holds it. Goes right side to Beagley. Beagley comes outside to Johnson. Johnson starts a drive. And cut off. Goes up and... Oh, my goodness gracious. They're going to call a jump ball here. Well, let's create a call night tonight here at Regis Fieldhouse. Inbounds pass to Robinson. Robinson will bring it across the timeline. On to the right wing. Just yo-yoing it out there, about 30 feet from the basket. Now feeds it up top. Ziegler's open again. Steps back, launches the three-pointer. Got another one. Here in the first quarter, and it's 16 to 15. Feet down low to Moore, in the paint, goes up with the left hand, and lays it in good on a foul. It'll count. So Angie Moore giving the Thunderbolts much-needed offense off the bench. Drew the foul, flipped it in with the left hand. And the foul was called on Espinosa. Jones out. Long comes back in for the Thunderbolts. Chance for the three-point play here. For Angie Moore. Normally very reliable from the free throw line. 83% free throw shooter. Thunderbolts is a team. 79%. Free throw up. Been good. Moore was seven here in the first quarter. 18 to 16. Thunderwolves lead it by two. Here's Robinson at the top of the key for the Rangers. Starts a drive into the paint, kicks it into the corner. Wide open three ball on the way off the back iron. No good. Rebound. Moore has it in the paint and then lost it. Ziegler as the buzzer sounds. Too late. It won't count anyway. End of one. Everything you'd expect in a battle for potentially an Armac crown down the line. Thunderwolves lead it by two, 18 to 16. Thunderwolves basketball on Fox Sports Pueblo. Thunderwolves on top here at the end of the first quarter. Thunderwolves get the ball first. Start the second quarter. On the right wing, Anderson with it. Holds it there, finds Hine cutting to the basket, goes up, ball stripped and stolen away. It's loose on the deck. Hine trying to get it back, ties it up, alternating possession will belong to the right. No, Regis, did they get a timeout call? Nope, it's White's ball. <laughs> that would have been a wasted timeout if you'd taken one there because you're going to get the possession of the ball anyway. So they decide they didn't call timeout, I guess. Here's Robinson bringing it across the timeline for the Rangers. They trail it 18 to 16. Fakes launching a long three-pointer. Goes down on the block, backing her way in as Johnson comes outside instead to Ziegler. Another three-pointer. She is in fuego. 16 points for Ziegler. 19 to 18. Thunderbolts down by one. Here's Hine at the top of the key. Goes right side to Cunningham. Is back in there with those two personal fouls. Lobs it down to Roar on the block. Wheels goes up in the paint with the left hand. Missed another one. Molly's cold to start the game. 
And the rebound to Snipes. Outlet pass to Robinson. Here's Robinson at the top of the key. Starts to drive. Spins at the free throw line. Comes outside. Why not again? Siegler missed this time on the heat check. That's a foul going over the back. They don't call it. My goodness. Am I seeing things? Ball gets to the Thunderbolts anyway. Hey, team, you got 33. Let's go four. He's Cunningham bringing it across the timeline. To the top of the key. Lift it off to Hine. Burns faces, goes right side to Cunningham. Katie holds it there, lobs it down on the block to Roar. Going to try it one more time with the left hand, and this time banks it in. Molly Roar on the board. I don't know if she meant to bank it in, but she'll take it. 20-19, to 19, Thunderwolves by one. Eight and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter. Robinson brings it across the timeline for the Rangers. Top of the key. Hands the ball off. Oh, no. Ziegler wide open again. This time off the back iron. Long rebound comes out to Long. Long brings it across the timeline. As Roar reached, or coming in from the right, doesn't get it to her, though. Now we'll just dribble out of trouble. Gets it up top to Cunningham. Roar posting up down low. They don't find her immediately. They're going to try to get it to her again here, I think. Up top to Hine. Whistle foul. Holding foul on Siegler. Thing you got to worry about tonight for Molly Roar is just stay patient. You know they're going to let, they're going to bang on you, they're going to hang on you a little bit, but you can't retaliate and throw an elbow to try to get open. Trust me, they're going to be radar in on that. Here's Roar in from the right, banks it up, missed another one. That's three misses she's had from point blank range in this game. She does have one hoop. It remains 20 to 19. Thunderwolves on top. Here's Robinson way outside with it. For the Rangers. Steps back. She's going to jack up a three. It's way off the mark. High rebound to Cunningham. He brings it across the timeline. Goes to the top of the key. To the free throw line. Stops. Goes right side. The two-leg two. Fakes the three. Now goes down low to Roar. Roar backs her way into the paint. Now kicks it to the baseline to Cunningham. Threw it away. Normally that's an automatic take for Roar, but she's cold in this game. She elected to try to pass it off. Trying to hit uh, Cunningham. Cutting to the basket. And missed her. Here's Robinson, to the right corner of the key, hands the ball off outside, now to Johnson, gives it off, this is Ducklow dribbling into the paint, kicks it into the corner, here's Ziegler again for three, missed another one, so she's hit three straight, but the offensive rebound belongs to the Rangers, outside, Robinson with it, hands the ball off to Ziegler, now up top to Johnson, Johnson one bounce onto the left side to Ducklow, she'll jack one up way off the mark, long rebound, Regis has another one, they go down low on the block, Johnson in the paint, goes outside, Espinosa, Inverless shot, block, rebound, whistle, foul called on the Thunderwolves. This will be on Lauren Hine. Jim Turgeon upset right now. They were being out-rebounded at the quarter, 12-9, and Regis with the advantage here in this quarter. So they've stretched that advantage out a little further. Free throw on the way off the back iron by Shelby Espinoga. She's only a 50% free throw shooter, so you always want to be aware, be ready to rebound when she's at the line. Second toss, short, and lane violation. <laughs> Folks, I just posted on my Facebook page, you always have to be worried about one. And we've determined who the one is tonight, early on. Free throw up, and it's good. I ask Spinoza. My goodness. Here's Cunningham across the timeline. To the free throw line. Down the lane she goes. Up and under layup. Good on a foul. It'll count. Katie Cunningham going coast to coast. And a chance for the three point play. Moore checks in. Molly Rohr comes out. Katie on the year, 84% from the line. 26 out of 31, free throw up, kind of hesitated on that one, but still popped it through there. She has five in the game. 23-20, Thunderwolves by three. Here comes Robinson across the timeline for the Rangers. Top of the key, 
Bounces it to the high post to Johnson. Turns, faces, goes way outside with it. Church going to launch a three-pointer. It's off the back iron. Long rebound. Cunningham gets it for the Thunderbolts. Good hustle there by J.D. Bring it across the timeline. Goes behind the back with a dribble. Out top to Hine. Hine a couple bounces. Hands it off to Long. Long moves in. Into the corner to Anderson. Anderson works around the screen. Steps back. Can't get the three off. Lobs it cross court to Long. Long with one bounce outside to Anderson. Ten on the shot clock. Two is going to go to work. Nope. Goes left side to Long instead. Looking down low to Moore. Five on the shot clock. Long in trouble. Now steps back and wants a long three-pointer. Works out great. Just like she dialed it up. 26-20, Thunderwolves by six. Taylor knew what she was doing all along there. Here's Robinson, dribbles to the free throw line. Now hands the ball off, left side to Church. Church has the ball knocked away by Long, but uh, Church able to regain it. Now dribbles around the screen, bumped outside by Long. Here's a drive to the hoop by Johnson, cut off, feeds it into the paint. Here's a jumper on the way, off the back iron, no good. Too late, with a rebound. Here come the Thunderwolves, across the timeline. Dribble to the right wing, holds up there. Give it off to Cunningham now to Moore. Moore gives it off to Long. Long, left side. Two who's wide open. Three-pointer on the way. Short. Hine has the rebound. Has the ball knocked away, though, and it comes right into the hands of Church. Outlet pass to Robinson. Robinson cut off on the right wing there by Long, and now they'll reset the offense. We're at the halfway point here of the second quarter. Thunderbolts lead it 26-20. Here's Robinson. They're daring her to shoot the three. She won't do it. They go outside to Ducklow. She drives in from the left. Cut off there nicely. Triple team. Pass outside. Now they come to the top of the key to Johnson. She drives in. Ball deflected. It comes right in the hands of Church. Now to the baseline. Five on the shot clock. Bad pass. Thrown away. And Long has the ball knocked away out of bounds. It'll belong to the Thunderwolves. And we've reached our media timeout. 4.40 to go here in the first half. Thunderwolves lead it 26 to 20. Thunderwolves basketball on Fox Sports Pueblo. Four forty to go here in the second quarter. Thunderwolves lead it 26 to 20. Shooting is picked up for the Thunderwolves anyway. Remember early on in the game when we first checked they were one for eight. Now they're up to uh, 10 for 23. 44 percent for the game. Regis. 6 of 24. But the key for Regis so far, they've gotten five offensive rebounds. Thunderwolves with none. So those extra possessions helping to even things out a little bit. But the Thunderwolves still with a nice cushion here midway through the second quarter. They'll try to increase on it here. Hulay Sue at the top of the key goes down. A little bad pass. Trying to find more. She thought Moore was trying to lead her to the baseline and Moore was going toward the paint in her mind. So the pass goes away. That's turnover number five on the Thunderbolts. We're even in that category. Here is Robinson bringing it across the timeline for the Rangers. Now just dribbling to the right wing. Holds it there. Comes up top to Ziegler. Ziegler moves in. Blocking foul called on Long. Long got in front of her that time, but not quite in time. She was moving. That's her first foul of the game. And to be brutally honest, she could have about three already, but they're kind of letting them go here tonight so far. See if it continues that way. Feet into the corner to Robinson. She won't take the three. Now steps back to daring her to shoot. That's going to be a foul on Tule Sue fighting through the screen. So a quick three team fouls here on the Thunderbolts in the last minute or so. It'll be Robinson triggered in on the baseline for the Rangers. Gets it into the corner to Jay Cox. Jay Cox, they try to go down on the block. They get it there to Snipes. Turns, faces, and hits over Big League. Well-designed play there. 26-22, Thunderwolves by four. Here's Tule Sue at the top of the key. Right side, Johnson at the top key. Now left side to Beagley. Beagley lobs it inside to Moore. Wheels goes up with the left hand. Missed it, but she drew the foul. Bumping her. With the chest, Jasmine Snipes. Beagley on the floor momentarily, but she's up. She's all right. So the foul on Snipes. That's her first. That'll send Angie Moore to the free throw line. Already has seven points in the game. Hit her only free throw on a beautiful three-point play earlier in the first quarter. Free throw on the way. That one looks long. It hits off the back iron. No good. So a rare miss for Angie Moore. We mentioned she's 83% on the year. 21 of 25 before that miss. Second toss, good. So it's 27-22. 
Yeah, Tule Sue Anderson out of the game. Inbounds pass. It's Jaycox bringing it across the timeline. Works around a screen. Works around a screen. Steps back. Won't take the three. Gives it off to Ziegler. She'll launch a three-pointer. It's good. Well, she has 19. Remember, she missed three in a row. But now it comes back. We'll see if she starts another streak here. That is already her fifth three-pointer of the game. Here's Beagley on the left wing. Holds it. Now comes outside to Long. Long down low to Moore. Turns. Faces. Free throw line. Jumper. Good. The defense backed off just a bit on Moore, and she popped it home from the free throw line. She has 10. She leads the Thunderwolves at this point. 29-25. Here's a drive to the hoop. Robinson cut off. Goes into the corner. Taking the jumper. That's traveling on Jay Cox. She faked the shot, a little head and shoulders fake in the corner, trying to drive away. And she got caught for shuffling her feet. Unrolls playing without Katie Cunningham. She's on the bench with two fouls. They brought her in briefly to start the second quarter. Thunderwolves got the working margin, and that's when Jim Turgeon allowed to bring her out. Speed down to Moore. Turns, faces, now wheels in the lane, goes up with the right hand hook off the back iron, won't go. And the rebound to Snipes. Heartbreak City there. And Robinson will bring it across the timeline now for the Rangers. Starts the drive, steps back, going to pop about an 18-footer off the back iron, no good. Rebound to Moore. She outfights Katie Jones for the rebound for the Thunderbolts. Outlet pass to Long. She angles to the left wing, right in front of the Regis bench. Now to Jones up top to Moore. Thought about the three-pointer. Gives it off to Johnson. Johnson fakes. She drives into the paint, goes up. Wild left-hander, no good. And the rebound to Ziegler. Jasmine was more or less trying to draw a foul, I think, there. She flipped it up off the glass. Here's Robinson with it. Dribbles around a screen. Dribbles around another screen to the right wing. Goes up top. Siegler again. Nope, won't take the three-pointers. Long got out on her. Now dribbles around a screen to the left wing. Hands the ball off to Johnson. Johnson comes out top. Robinson with it. Drives in on Jasmine. Goes up with a right-hander. Missed it. And Jasmine Johnson gets the rebound. Jasmine will bring it across the timeline. Dribbles to the top of the key, hands it off to Moore. Thought about the three, won't take it. Goes right side to Long. Long works around a screen. Now gives it to Jones. Jones drives to the baseline. Goes up with a running right hander. Doesn't get it. Gets her own rebound. And then lost it on the rebound. Stolen away by Ziegler. It was a good move, a good idea. Just didn't quite finish there, Katie Jones. Here's Robinson. The free throw line. Spins, hands the ball off, long three ball on the way off the back iron, no good. Rebound loose on the baseline, and Moore has it for the Thunderbolts. Outlet pass to Long, and Jim Turgeon wants him to slow things down a bit here. The Thunderbolts lead it by four, 29-25 with a minute 12 to go here in the first half. Long to the right wing. Comes outside to Jasmine, she's open, three-pointer on the way, got it! Jasmine Johnson, her second three ball of the night, forces the timeout call by the Rangers. Thunderbolts with their biggest lead of the night. They lead it by 7, 32 to 25. It is a 30-second timeout on Fox Sports Pueblo. Thirty-two twenty-five. Thunderbolts by 7. Thunderbolts getting it from their bench tonight. Moore with 10. Johnson with 6. 16 of the 32 points for the Thunderbolts coming from their reserves. Of the starters. Long has 5. Cunningham with 5. Tule Sue with 3. Hind with 1. Roar with 2. Getting extended minutes on the bench here in this ball game so far for Molly Rohr and uh, Katie Cunningham. Rohr, I don't believe, has two fouls. Let me double check that. Yeah, Molly hasn't committed a foul. She's just coach's decision. Is Angie Moore playing well here. Here's Ziegler. Steps back. There's an illegal screen. That was an emphatic call by Anthony Carter. He calls foul number two on Jasmine Snipes with the illegal screen down low. He acted like he was mad at somebody on that call. He's kind of a sawed-off little guy. Ball on the right side to Jones. Jones, couple bounces. Lobs it up top to Beagley. Trying to find more in the paint. Turns, faces, 10-footer up, and in and out. No good. Rebound handled on the baseline by Johnson. The outlet pass to Robinson. 
She'll bring it across the timeline. About a five-second differential here on the shot on the game clock. Thunderbolts look to get a stop here and get that last shot of the half. Outside, another illegal screen. Or are they going to ticket somebody for the Thunderbolts here? Trying to fight through the screen, evidently. And the foul is on Katie Jones, and she has a wry smile on her face. Not quite believing the call. That's only team foul number four on the Thunderbolts. Now Regis can go for the last shot if they elect to. Now a uh, conference here between Anthony Carter and uh, Steve Stewart. Two of our officials. Chuck Golombo, our other referee. Slap the inbounds ball. It comes in. Left side to Ziegler. She's going to launch. Hits again. Where would the Rangers be without Ziegler? She has 22. It's 32-28. But now the Thunderbolts can go for the last shot. Johnson brings it across the timeline. On the left wing, starts a drive. Down the lane she goes, running right hand. Shot blocked, gets her own rebound, goes up. Shot blocked again. And the rebound on the baseline to Johnson. Gets the outlet, pass ahead. Shot at the buzzer from half court. Off the board, no good. So a good end of the first half for Regis. As they get the three-pointer from Ziegler to cut the margin to four. Halftime from the Regis Fieldhouse. Thunderwolves lead it 32-28. Back with our halftime show right after this. Thunderwolves basketball on Fox Sports Pueblo. Welcome back to Regis Fieldhouse. Thunderwolves with a four-point advantage here at the break, 32-28, to 28, led by as many as seven. Let's recap the first half for you. Thunderwolves opened up the scoring. They were tied, though, at one apiece. They then led it 4-1. to one. Regis came back at five in a row to take the lead. We kind of flip-flopped back and forth the entire first quarter. Eventually, the Thunderwolves got a three-point play late in the quarter by Angie Moore to lead it 18-16 to 16 after one. Regis got the lead at 19-18. to 18. Thunderwolves took the lead back. Regis tied it at 20 apiece. That's when the Thunderwolves went to work. They scored six in a row, led it 26 to 20. Continued to push, had the lead out to seven at 32 to 25. Had it in possession to increase the lead from there, but couldn't get it done. And then Ziegler popped on a three-pointer late in the first half to cut the gap to four, and that's where we stand right now. Bubbles on top, 30 to 28. Angie Moore with 10 at the break to lead the way. Johnson with six, Long and Cunningham with five apiece for the Thunderbolts. Siegler has 22 to lead the way for the Rangers. We'll have a Fox Sports update coming your way next. Back with the second half in a little bit. Right here from Regis Fieldhouse, Thunderbolts basketball on Fox Sports Pueblo. And welcome back to the Regis Fieldhouse. Thunderbolts on top, 32-28. to 28. We recap the game for you at the end of the first half here. Let's tell you uh, the numbers right now. First for the Thunderwolves, Angie Moore, 10 points. 4 of 6 from the field, 2 of 3 from the free throw line. She has 10 to lead the way for the Thunderwolves. Jasmine Johnson off the bench, popped home a couple of three-pointers. She has 6. Taylor Long and Katie Cunningham have 5 apiece. Molly Rohr held to 2 in the first half. Lauren Hine with 1. Tule Sue Anderson held to 3 at halftime. Thunderwolves 12 of 30. 31 from the field, 39%. They're 4 for 9, shooting threes. That's 44%. 4 of 6 from the free throw line, 67%. For Regis, it's a uh, one-woman gang. Mary Ziegler has 22 points at halftime. She hit 6 of 9 from 3. She has another field goal to go along with that. 7 of 11 overall. 2 of 3 from the free throw line. She has 22 points. After that, it's pretty much it for Regis. You stop her, you pretty much stop this ball club if the Thunderbolts could figure out a way to do that. Robinson with 2. Snipes with 2. Church with 1. Espinosa with 1. 9 for 30. From the field, that's 30%. They're 6 of 18, shooting threes, that's 33%. 4 of 7 from the free throw line, that's 57 points. So if you break it all down there, you take away Ziegler. The rest of the team is only 2 for 19. They are 0 for 9, shooting threes. So that's the uh, object for the Thunderwolves. Find a way to stop Mary Ziegler. Slight rebound advantage for Regis in the first half, 22 to 19. Thunderwolves got better as the half went along. I remember one checkpoint, uh, Regis had five offensive boards. I think that was after the first quarter. Oh, no, it was the first time check after the first uh, quarter. They had five, and they ended the half with five offensive rebounds. Their leading rebounders, Espinosa has five. Ziegler has four. Excuse me, Chante Church has six to lead the way for them. Snipes also with five off the bench. 
for the Thunderwolves, Katie Cunningham, with six rebounds in limited time. She only played 14 minutes in the first half. I do say only. That's kind of normal minutes for anybody else, but for Cunningham, usually in the first half of play, she'll play 17 to 18, especially in a game of this magnitude. Thunderbolts credit with four assists, two of those to Long to lead the way there. Eight assists for Regis. And Robinson with four. That just tells you about the Armacs. Woeful. They don't care about the road team and their numbers. It's just the way it is. Thunderbolts made 12 baskets, only credited with four assists. And Regis made nine shots, and they got credited with eight. Now, you figure out the percentage there. What is that, 89% of the uh, shots get credited with an assist for Regis. Thunderwolves only get 33% of their shots that went in credited with an assist. 7-6, to six, the uh, turnover advantage. Regis has 7, Thunderwolves with 6. And I kind of overshot my mark. We'll take a quick 30 here before we come back for the second half. Thunderwolves basketball on Fox Sports Pueblo. Welcome back quickly to the second half. Tule Sue Robinson, a drive to the right side, and she hits. It's 34 to 28. Thunderwolves by six. Regis with the ball way outside. Robinson has it. Oh, a little jab step now goes into the corner. Wide open. Three ball away. It's an air ball out the other side. Comes outside. Here's Ziegler again, and she misses finally. But there is uh, Regis to get the rebound, but Hine blocks the shot and gets the rebound herself. She blocked the shot of Shot Day Church. Here's Cunningham on the right side, on the right wing, holds it up, goes down low to Roar, wheels in the paint, goes up with the left hand, in and out, won't go. It's been that kind of night for Molly Roar. And Robinson now with it for the Rangers. She'll bring it across the timeline. Holds things up there. Now feeds it right side to Johnson. Johnson up top, taking the three as Church dribbles around a screen. In from the right shot block, foul on Long. Taylor Long got her money's worth there that time as she whacked Shante Church. Church will get to the free throw line. Well, the challenge for the Rangers is to find somebody else to score here in the second half. The challenge for the Thunderbolts is to make somebody else score here in the second half. Church's free throw off the back iron, no good. Regis struggling from the line. Now they're four for eight. One more for Church. Normally pretty reliable, 74% on the year. Second toss is up, and she hit that one. So one out of two. That's the second time she's gone one out of two from the stripe tonight. 34-29. Thunderwolves lead it by five. Here is Cunningham. Way outside with it. Bounce pass to Tule Sue. Tule Sue probing. Now gives it off to Heim. Right side to Cunningham. Cunningham holds it, gives it up top to Long. Long drives into the paint, reverses, goes up with the left-hand scoop shot off the top of the backboard. No good, gets her own rebound, missed the uh, follow attempt. Rebound, loose save by the Rangers. Here they come the other way. Church across the timeline, fired ahead into the corner. Robinson launches a three ball off the iron. No good, another rebound, though, for the Rangers. As Espinosa got it. Can't hardly blame the Thunderbolts there. The ball skidded off the rim, and it was a long rebound. Thunderbolts had position, but it went right over the top of them. Ball on the right side to Robinson. Now up top, Church. Church will dribble around a screen. Now goes left side. Ziegler fakes the three, drives the baseline, cut off there. Ball batted away and stolen. And then a foul in the backcourt. Charges the call on Katie Cunningham. Goodness, that is foul number three on Katie Cunningham, and it was the worst call of the night by far and away. Here's Robinson. This kind of foul call that can change a game. It's Cunningham now with three fouls. He's got to be careful not to pick up her fourth. She's still in the game here. Here's Robinson, starts to drive to the hoop, in from the right. Shot blocked by. Oh my goodness, another late whistle by the same official. And this one is called on Taylor Long. That was borderline ridiculous. And at the free throw line, Majesty Robinson. Free throw good. Brutal. No other way to put it. 
One more for Majesty Robinson. Up, in and out, no good. Hine with the rebound. 34 to 30. Thunderwolves by four. Here's Robinson, top of the key, hands it off to Anderson. You just got to fight through things like that. Here is Jasmine Johnson on the right wing, down low to Roar, backs her way in, goes up with the right hand and banks it in. You got to be homer proof. That's the way you have to be. Because Homer McWhistle is reared his ugly head, as they always do, on the road in the Armac. Here's the feed out top. Ziegler drives the left wing, now in from the left, goes up with the left hander good. Ziegler with a rare two-point shot. She has 24. It's 36-32. Quickly back to the shot. Block foul as Tule Sue's going to get to the line. This foul will be called on Johnson. Now a chance for the Regis fans to be ticked off. And to be frankly clear about it, all three of the recent fouls shouldn't have been fouls. They were all clean block shots. Here's Anderson to the free throw line. Free throw in and out, no good. Regis fans would quickly be saying the ball doesn't lie, and they could be right there. One more for Tule Sue, 79% on the year. 50 of 64 from the stripe now for the updated totals. Second toss, she missed that. Well, that one got in there somehow. I thought that one was going to come out long, but it rattled in. So I beg your pardon there. 37-32. Thunderwolves up by five. Here's Robinson dribbling around a screen. Cunningham's come out of the ball game now with those three fouls. Here's a drive to the loose. Shot blocked by Jasmine Johnson. Loose on the deck. Roar has it. Throws an elbow to get free. Lucky she didn't get ticketed there. Ahead to Jasmine Johnson. Fires it into the corner to Jones. Jones, a couple of dribbles to the free throw line. Into the paint. Get rid of the ball now to Johnson. Johnson, a couple of dribbles now. Backs out on the wing. Comes right side to Anderson. Anderson holds it there, down low to Roar, backs her way into the paint, goes up with the left hand, left it short. Hine has the rebound, and she is fouled, and that'll be another foul on Johnson. That'll be her third. <laughs> Substitutions here for the Rangers. They're going to bring Snipes into the ball game as well as Ducklow, now racing into the game as well, McKenna Bishop. I remember Bishop being in the game in the first half. She may have been. Yeah, she played a couple minutes. Now, now she can't get in the game. Now they're bringing her out. They hadn't approved her. Now the official is going to discuss it here as they slow the pace down. Now she had checked in, so she's got to come in. Now they got to figure out who to bring her out. They're going to bring out. Uh, now they're going to bring out Ducklow now. It'll be Jones to trigger it in on the baseline. Gets the ball into Roar in the paint. Goes up with the right hand and flips it in. Molly Roar has six. 39-32. Thunderwolves by seven. Here's Robinson across the timeline. Dribbles to the right wing. Steps back. Three-point land. Now starts to drive to the baseline. Tries to get around Johnson. Fires it into the corner. Here's Ziegler for three. Left it short. And the rebound to Jasmine Johnson on the baseline. She brings it out. It's one of us can run here. Four on three break. Right side to Jones. Now they get back. But they got Roar down on the block. She has it. Wheels in the paint. Goes up with the left hand. Missed it, but she drew the foul. Molly upset with herself there, but she'll get to the line to shoot a couple of free throws. And the foul called on Shante Church. So it'll be Molly Rohr to the line. Her first trip to the stripe tonight. 83% on the year. Throws up and good. Hine comes out. Moore checks in now. Don't often see the Thunderwolves in the same time in the game with Moore and Roar. Second toss up and good. Molly Roar has eight. Six of them here in the quarter, and the Thunderwolves lead it by nine. 41-32, 540 to go here in the third quarter. Robinson way outside with it. Yo-yoing it there, about 30 feet from the hoop. 
And now she is going to shoot a long three-pointer. It's off the iron, no good. They were daring her to shoot it. They get the offensive rebound, though, and they fire it way outside to Ziegler. Now hands it off to Robinson. Robinson will dribble around the screen to the paint. Cut off there. Hands the ball outside to Decklo. And they swing it on the left side to Ziegler. Ziegler picked up by Jones. They come right side to Robinson. Fakes the three. Drives in on Johnson. Goes up running right hand. Or missed a late whistle foul. Offensive foul is the call against Regis. And the foul is on Majesty Robinson. That is her first. That is the fourth team foul on the Rangers. Inbounds pass to Johnson. Thunderbolts here, a chance to get a double-digit lead here on this trip. Jasmine Johnson brings it across the timeline. Goes right side to Tule Sue. Roar begging for the ball. Gets it in the paint. Goes to work with the left hand and lays it in. Molly Roar has 10, 43-32. It is a fearsome look when Molly Rohr wants the basketball. Timeout taken by the Rangers. 4.49 to go here in the third quarter. Thunderwolves have opened up an 11-point lead. They lead it 43-32. It's a one-minute timeout on Fox Sports Pueblo. Thunderwolves 5 of 8 in the quarter. 63%. Three of four in the quarter from the free throw line. So that's what's helped them open up this lead. Regis only one of eight shooting here in the quarter. They're down by 11. They'll have the ball here. You always worry when you watch the officials during the break, chatting it up with people in the stands across the front row. Should you be that friendly with the partisans in attendance? Not quite as bad as the one year at Shadron when we saw the referees before the game talking with the uh, fans in the hallway before the game and just yucking it up. Remember that a couple years back, back when they played in the old building there at uh, Shadron State. Now we've got a little bit of a delay as they get things straightened out here. I think they had to make sure the shot clock was right. So it's Regis Ball. They trail it 43-32. Inbounds pass to Robinson. She'll bring it across the timeline. Races to the top of the key. Holds it. Now hands the ball up top to Johnson. She drives into the paint and looks like she traveled. Goes up with the left hand. Misses. They get the rebound. Outlet pass to Robinson. Up top to Ziegler. Fakes. She'll drive to the free throw line. Goes in on Jones. Got blocked by Katie Jones. A rebound to Moore. Outlet pass to Johnson. Johnson across the timeline with the right hand dribble. Cut off there. Gets a screen. Dribbles to the free throw line. Spins. Ball is knocked away. Goes off her foot. She regains it. Now she'll drive into the paint, hands the ball off to Moore. Moore looking for Roar. Ball kicked away and stolen by Regis. Back the other way comes Robinson. Robinson lobs it in the paint. Ball knocked away. It's loose on the baseline. Picked up, though. Foul from behind on Jones. And she decked Espinosa. And Espinosa will get to the free throw line. But it was a little unfortunate there. You hear Jim Turgeon just to our right here telling his ball club to slow down a little bit. They got in a little bit of a hurry there on that last possession. And then here on defense, just trying to get to the ball, they didn't quite secure it. And then the ball landed right in the lap of Espinosa, and Jones ran over. Two shots for Espinosa. There was a question about that. I think that's the proper call. Free throw is up, and it's off the back iron. No good. Espinosa, we've chronicled her 50% from the free throw line. She hit one out of two on her first trip. She's missed the first one here. Just got to be ready to rebound. Whenever she's at the stripe on the way, that one looks long, but it rattles in. 43-33. That stops a 7-0 run by the Thunderwolves. They lead it by 10. Here's Johnson. Left side to Tule Sue. Tule Sue gives it off to Jones. It's like a zone defense being employed now by Regis. Trying to counteract things. Here's Tule Sue driving to the hoop. Feeds it outside. Johnson for three. Got it! Jasmine Johnson from downtown. Give the assist to Tule Sue. It's 46-33. Here comes Robinson. Drives to the left wing. Cut off there. Goes way outside with it to Johnson. Onto the right side. Into the hands of Ducklow. Now to Ziegler. Ziegler picked up by Jones. Accepting the challenge here coming off the bench. Robinson drives around a screen. Feeds it into the corner to Ducklow. Long three-pointer. Way off the mark. It's an air ball. Rebound to Moore. And she hands it off to Johnson. And now Jim Turgeon says, slow things down. Let's run our stuff here. The 1-3-1 one, one zone now being employed by... Regis up top to Lace, who thought about the three, steps back, cut off, gives it off to Jasmine Johnson, down low into the corner to Jones. Jones moves into the paint, stops, goes down low, wide open.
open. Molly Rohr layup good. Beautiful assist from Katie Jones. 48-33. Thunderwolves by 15. Robinson now starts back the other way for the Rangers. Spins to the free throw line. Hands it off to Ziegler. Works around the screen. Steps back. Can't get the three off. Gives it to Robinson. Now to Ziegler. Down low on the block. Espinosa turns faces. Shot blocked by Moore. Oh, my God. Late whistle and a foul called on Angie Moore. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And the Thunderbolts had the rebound, and then the whistle came out. Hey, go triangle. T's, T's down low. You're two up top. Triangle gets the free two. And it will be two shots for Espinosa. Free throw on the way. It's good. Beagley will check in. Moore comes out. One more for Shelby Espinosa. On the way. And she's got it sighted in. She's at three in a row now. 48 35. Thunderwolves by 13. We got 2.25 to go here in the third quarter. Johnson onto the right side to Jones. Holds it, goes up top to Roar. Left side to Johnson. Fakes the three, moves in, cut off, gives it off to Jones. Jones trying to find Roar, and they're going to whistle a foul. Hold on Espinosa. And that means free throws upcoming for Molly Roar. Roar has been dynamite here in the third quarter. It was a slow start for her. Only two points in the first half, but she has ten in this quarter. Chance to add to it right here. Free throw on the way. Good. Forty-nine-thirty-five. One more for Molly Roar. We throw up, and it was a little short, but she got the shooter's roll. 12 in the quarter, 14 in the game. Thunderbolts lead at 50-35. to 35. Here's Robinson on the left wing. Goes into the corner. Into the drive of the baseline. Ball knocked away. It's regained, though. Now back to Robinson. Robinson stepping back. They're daring her to shoot the three. Now a little stop and go move in from the right. Missed it, but this time fouled by Jasmine Johnson. So it's been a steady parade to the free throw line here of late. That's got uh, Jim Turgeon a little upset here, ruining his momentum in this quarter. Here's the free throw by Robinson off the back iron. No good. Boy, they've missed a number of free throws in this game. Six for 11, our last report. So six for 12, but they made two. So it's uh, eight for 14 right now. Second toss, good. So one out of two for Robinson. She has four points in the game. It's 50 to 36. Thunderwolves by 14. Johnson brings it into the forecourt. Goes to Beagley. Backdoor feed. Tulay Sue in for the right left. Good. Give the assist to Beagley. Tulay Sue has eight. 52 to 36. Thunderwolves by 16. Here is Robinson. Left wing kills the dribble, goes into the corner to Johnson, works around a screen. Now comes up top to Ziegler, picked up by Jones. Jones right up in her grill, drives around her though, layup good. Well, they weren't going to let her shoot the three, and Ziegler took it right around her. She has 26, 52 38, Thunderwolves by 14. Johnson up top to Tule Sue. Inside, Roar backs her way in, right hand hook up, left it short, and rebound saved on the baseline by Snipes. Hands it off now to Robinson. Robinson across the timeline. On the left wing, steps back. Always a threat to go, stop and go with that right hand dribble. Here she goes to work again, onto the right wing, hands the ball off outside to Church. Church looks for a screen, gets it now, she'll step back and fire the three pointer. It's off the back iron, no good. Beakley had the rebound, lost it to Roar. Now Johnson with it. We're under a minute to go, 45 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Thunderbolts could have went two for one, but they elect just to uh, work their offense here. Tulay Sue now going to work. Into the paint she goes. Running right hander left it a little short. And the rebound to Johnson. Outlet pass. Ahead to Church. Church across the timeline. Now 
now looks like uh, we got about a three-second differential here. Shot in game clock. Robinson with it. Out on the right wing here. 52-38. Thunderwolves on top to Ziegler. Ziegler works around the screen. They switch out on her. Now right side to Robinson. She's going to jack up the three ball. It's in and out. No good. Rebound batted out of bounds. Last touch by Beagley to belong to the Rangers. They have nine and a half seconds to go in the quarter here. Espinoza and Ducklow back in the game now for the Rangers. Inbounds pass. Gets it into Ziegler. Eight to go. They go down on the block. Johnson backs her way in. Double team. Now out top. Ducklow for three. It's off the iron. No good. Rebound batted loose in the lane. Jones had it. It's loose still. And the buzzer goes off before the shot could be taken. Great third quarter for the Thunderwolves. As they outscore the Rangers 20 to 10 in the quarter, and they take a 52 to 38 lead to the fourth quarter. Thunderwolves basketball on Fox Sports Pueblo. On the scoreboard, the uh, score sheet they just brought us has it 54-38, but I think that's wrong. They've got an extra hoop there somewhere for the Thunderbolt. I've got it 52 to 38. So we'll operate with the scoreboard. Regis gets the ball first to start this fourth quarter. Ball on the right side. Church has it. Looking to go to work here. A drive in from the right, cut off there by Tule Sue. Back outside, Johnson drives into the paint, wheels on Hine, goes up, shot block. Hine had the rebound, lost it. Loose and Tule Sue able to get it free. Hine has been a monster tonight. They've got her only credited now with two block shots. I think she's got three or four myself. Ball left side to Anderson. She dribbles around the screen, steps back. She'll launch a three pointer. It's short. Hine had the rebound, lost it. They tie things up. Body slammed in the paint. And on the alternating possession will be Thunderwolf basketball as Hine brought Church down with her in the lane. So it'll be Thunderwolf basketball. Good hustle there by Lauren. So it'll be long to inbound the ball. Katie Cunningham's back in there with those three fouls. Remember, the Thunderwolves did all that in the third quarter with Katie on the bench. Here's Tule Sue, right side to Hine. Now right side, down low to Roar. In her office, wheels, goes up to the left hand, left a little short. And the rebound to Espinosa. It's not been a great night for Roar shooting the ball, 6 of 13 right now. But she had a great third quarter with 12 in the quarter. That's the reason the Thunderwolves have this lead of 14. Ball outside, Ziegler. She's going to pop for three, an air ball. Rebound to Cunningham. Now Katie fires it ahead. Tule Sue's open in the lane. Now has to back out as the defense foul on her. Now they go to Roar. Wheels with the left hand, banks it in. Molly Roar, unstoppable there on the left side. She has 16. It's 54 38. Thunderwolves by 16. Here's a drive to the left side. Step back. They come outside. Long three pointer by Johnson. In and out. No good. Tule Sue flying in for the rebound. Her third board of the night. Tule Sue angles in from the right cut off there. And now will step back. Is it up top to Roar? Thought about the three. Wouldn't take it. Three seconds called on the Thunderbolts. I think they thought Molly was going to launch the three. And when she didn't take it, everybody got caught in the lane. Roar out of the game right now. She's exhausted. And uh, Moore checks in. Angie Moore, who has 10 points in this game. He was a big reason the Thunderwolves maintained contact, actually had the lead in the first half. Then Roar went to work in that third quarter. 54-38, Thunderwolves on top. Johnson with the ball, hands it off to Ziegler. Into the corner. Robinson, they dare to shoot. She pops and finally hits one from downtown. Robinson has seven. Regis is going to need a lot of that here in this third or fourth quarter to pull this game out. Long, down low to Moore. She backs her way. A nice move with the left hand. Missed it, though, off the back iron. Gets her. No, lost the rebound, and it goes to Robinson. It's a breakout. Two on one. In from the right. Shot up. Missed it. Rebound. Hine chasing it down in the corner, trying to call timeout. And they call jump ball, and it'll belong to Regis on the alternating possession. Thunderwolves were working, trying to get the timeout called. Hine just couldn't quite secure the ball in time. Actually kind of unfortunate for Regis there. They had taken the ball away when the whistle came out. So the alternating possession gives it to the Rangers. Inbounds pass to Ziegler. 
Works around a screen. Katie Robinson right up on her. Look out. Katie got a, can't get a reach in foul right there. She's very fortunate she didn't get ticketed. Here's a drive by Ducklow. In from the right. Fakes. Comes outside. Johnson fakes. Drives into the paint. Cut off there. Comes way outside to Robinson. 13 on the shot clock. Robinson going to launch a long three ball. She hits another one. That's what the Thunderwolves have to be worried about. And a quick timeout taken by Jim Turgeon. Six in a row by the Rangers. Have them back within 10. 7-12 to go here. Fourth quarter. Thunderwolves by 10. Thunderwolves basketball. Fox Sports Club. Well, we knew at halftime that the Rangers had to find some offense from somebody else. We knew the Thunderwolves had to find a way to stop Siegler. Well, the Thunderwolves stopped Siegler pretty much in that second or third quarter. She only had four points in the quarter. Nobody else picked it up for the Rangers, and the Thunderwolves got Molly Rohr on fire, and that's why they opened up the big lead. But here in this fourth quarter, all of a sudden, Majesty Robinson, with a couple of step-back threes from way beyond the arc, has them back within ten. And they have hope. Here's Cunningham. On the right wing. Thunderwolves need a hoop right here just to restore order. They get it down low to Moore. On the block. Wheels goes up with the right hand. Left it short. And the rebound to Espinosa. Outlet pass to Robinson. They could cut it under 10 here on this trip. Molly Rohr going to come back in the ball game right away. Here's Robinson in from the right. Goes outside. Wide open. Johnson won't take the three. Passes off. Siegler goes down on the block. Espinosa backs her way in. Goes up. Shot block. And the rebound to Cunningham. Moore with the block shot. Very physical play there. Here's a lob down on the block. Ball knocked away and stolen by Robinson. And then the ball batted away by Cunningham, preventing the fast break. Just to her right here. That was a little scary for yours truly. That was about five feet away from total disaster. So it will be Regis basketball to inbound it to Robinson. They're working on a 6-0 run right now with six and a half to go. They trail it by 10. Robinson works around a screen. Hands the ball off outside to Ducklow. Ducklow into the corner to Robinson. Lob it down on the block. Backing her way in. Espinosa foul on the Thunderwolves. It'll be two shots. Foul called on Hine. And a free throw by Espinosa is good. She missed two of her first three tonight. She's only a 50% free throw shooter, but she's hit four in a row here. That worries me. Tells me she's due to miss. Get ready for the rebound, but she sights another one in. Well, they've cut the lead in half here. It was a 16-point advantage for the Thunderwolves. But now eight in a row. Have the Rangers within eight with 6.15 to go. Thunderwolves need a basket here. Roars back in there. Let's see if they find her. They feed it to Hine, though, on the give-and-go layup. Good, and a foul. It should count. They're going to make sure here whether it's continuation, I guess. They haven't signaled it good as of yet. Basket counts. And that changes things in a big hurry. There's a foul on Majesty Robbins. That's her second. And a chance for the Thunderwolves for the three-point play they get it as Hine hits. She has four in the game. And that gets the Thunderwolves comfortable again. They're up by 11. 57-46 as we hit the six-minute mark. Here is a drive outside. Ducklow with it. Whistle and a foul on Cunningham. Foul on Cunningham away from the ball is her fourth. There's just enough things on the fringes here to make Jim Turgeon very nervous. Now leave Katie out there, but man, oh man, if you, the sooner she picks up that fifth foul, it just means you have to play that much longer without her on the court. Inbounds pass comes into Robinson. Robinson way outside, starts a drive, in from the right, cut off, though on the baseline, trying to get rid of it. Outside to Ziegler, picked up there by Cunningham, now hands the ball off to Snipes. Oh, too late, Sue went for the steal, almost had it. Ball deflected and went out of bounds. Right close to Molly Marin, the head coach for the Rangers. 16 on the shot clock here for Regis, they trail it by 11. 
Trouble on the inbounds. Nobody breaking open. They finally get it to Snipes. Now they hand the ball off outside to Church. Church now will start a drive on Tule Su. In from the left goes up. Missed it. Rebound. Hine rips it down in the lane with a 40. And she'll dribble it out of there herself. Now hands it off to Cunningham. Cunningham across the timeline. Holds things up. Now goes to Hine. Left side to Tule Su. Dribbles around a screen to the top of the key. Right corner of the key now. Goes cross court to Long on the left wing. Now comes up top to Roar. Nice pass to Hine. Missed the layup, though. Rebound loose. Hine has it. Comes outside. Tule Su steps into a three. Switch. Tule Su from downtown. 60-46. to 46. Thunderwolves by 14. Timeout, Rangers. 5.03 to go here in the fourth quarter. Thunderwolves back on top by 14. It's a one-minute timeout on Fox Sports Pueblo. Six, Thunderwolves by 14. Five minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Robinson with the ball for the Rangers. Top of the key extended. Looks down low. Comes cross court left side to Siegler. Picked up there by Katie Cunningham. Down, down on the block. Espinosa turns. Fires it right side. Three-pointer on the way off the back iron. No good. Long rebound. Comes right back to Church after the three-point miss. And they'll reset again. Robinson at the top of the key. Dribbles in on Tule Su. Now they hide the ball way outside to Johnson. Johnson starts to drive in on Hine. Wheels to the baseline. Cut off there nicely. Pass outside. And Robinson had the steal. Lost it. It's loose on the deck. Ziegler somehow gets it back to Robinson. Won't step into the three. Goes right side instead. Now down to the baseline. Drive to the baseline. Feet outside. Now they come way up top to Robinson. She drives in. Ball poked away, but it goes right into the hands of Johnson. Feeds it to Espinosa. Shot in the lane. It's good. That was a wild possession. But it ends up in two points. For the Rangers, 60 to 48. Thunderwolves by 12. Tule Su dribbles around the screen. Now comes outside to Cunningham. Cunningham to Roar. Backs her way into it. Can't get the shot off. Gives it off to Cunningham. Now the reset. 15 on the shot clock. Give it off to Long. Long now will dribble over to the left side. They're going to try to get Cunningham posting up down on the block. Instead, it's Long dribbling to the free throw line. Whistle foul and a pushing foul on the Rangers. As Church just decked Hine in the lane. Only the second team foul. So Thunderwolves get the ball back. That just burned another 20 seconds, though, off the clock. Now the Thunderwolves get a fresh 30. Inbounds to Cunningham. Holds it. They got a double low post set up. They go down low to Roar. Wheels with the left hand. Left it short, but she drew the foul this time. And Espinosa flings the ball to the court in utter disgust. And it'll be Roar to the free throw line. Free throw up, fan in and out, no good. Molly missed one. Well, hit four in a row before that one tonight. 3% on the year. We'll have one more here. On the way, good. So one out of two. Roar was 17. 61 48. Thunderwolves by 13. 335 to go here in the fourth quarter. Robinson brings it across the timeline. Skips it over onto the left wing. Long three, no good by Ducklow, and the rebound to Cunningham. She races it across the timeline. On to the right wing, hands it off to Tule Su. She'll dribble it to the top of the key. Now reverses, steps back, thought about the three. Bad pass, trying to get it down low to Hine, and Siegler has the steal. That's not what Jim Turgeon wanted there. Too early in the shot clock to be trying to force it into the blo- post. Here's Siegler, or Ducklow rather, driving to the hoop. Cut off, comes outside to Johnson. Johnson to Siegler on the right side. Picked up there by Katie. Now backs up a little bit. Now drives in on Katie Cunningham. Little left-hander. No good shot. Was blocked by Roar, I believe. And the rebound to Cunningham. Now the Thunderwolves will slow things up with 2.50 to go, leading the game by 13. I don't think Roar will get credit for a block, but she should there. She definitely got a piece of that shot. Here's Tule Su on the wing. Now goes left side. Cunningham with it. Cunningham works around the screen. 10 on the shot clock. Now to the right side. Long with it. Long works around the screen. Steps back. We'll fire a three-pointer. Off the iron, no good. But the Thunderwolves used up every bit of that shot clock there. And that won't disappoint Jim Turgeon too much there. You don't get the basket, but they executed well in the offense. You do that uh, four more times, game's over, no matter what they do. Here is Ducklow bringing it across the timeline. 
top of the key, hands the ball off. Onto the right wing, into the game, Bishop with it, goes outside. Here's another three-point try by Robinson. This time she missed it. There's Cunningham with a strong rebound. She'll wheel and bring it out of there in a hurry, gets it across the timeline. Jim Turgeon to tell her to slow her down a little bit. Boy, good match up here. It's Robinson getting right up on Cunningham, but she makes her look silly with the dribble drive. Here's a feed inside to Roar, banks it up no good. Rebound bounces around, Roar has it. She rips it away, tried to pass off, and she drew the foul. That's all right. It's not on the shot, but the Thunderbolts will get the ball back here with a fresh 30 on the shot clock. Only the third team foul on the Rangers. Foul called on... I'm not sure who they whistled it on. Bishop. Yeah, Bishop. That's her first. Long on the inbounds. Gets it in the corner to Cunningham. She's going to take the 15-footer. It's good. Whistle and a foul away from the ball, and that is a disastrous possession for the Thunderbolts. A legal screen down on the block. Now they're going to see if the shot went in before the whistle. So the question is, does the bucket count, or was the foul before the shot? These officials have had more conferences tonight. It's going to count. Wow. <laughs> so a foul on the Thunderwolves, but the bucket counts as the shot was in the air. They determined before the foul call. I thought it was kind of simultaneous. But Cunningham gets credit for the basket. 63 48. Seven points in the game for Katie. Getting the team foul situation correct here. Now they get that's what they had. They put the team foul up against Regis to begin with. The foul should have been against the Thunderwolves. The foul was on Hines, setting an illegal screen away from the ball. Here's Robinson across the timeline. Thunderwolves by 15. Ball in the right corner. The key Johnson has it. Feeds it up top. Siegler's open for three. And she hits. It's been hard for her to get open here in this second half. That's her first three of the half. 63-51. Thunderwolves by 12. Cunningham hands the ball off outside to Long. Thunderwolves go into their delay game now here. Now right side to Cunningham. Down low to Roar on the block. And Molly says, heck with that. I'm just going to take it to the hoop and score. She has 19. Forget about running any clock. 65-51. Thunderwolves by 14. Here's Robinson. Starts a drive on long ball. Batted away, but uh, Robinson able to chase it down outside. Now she starts another drive. And a foul called on long. Team foul number four on the Thunderwolves. Jasmine Johnson will check in. Hine will come out. Thunderwolves want an extra ball handler out there now. I want you on defense. I want you Inbounds pass into the corner. With the ball, there's Church. Outside to Robinson. Wasting time here. Starts to drive. Steps back. Can't get the shot off. Now goes inside. Cunningham went for the steal. Doesn't get it. Goes to Johnson. Feeds it into the corner. Here's a jumper on the way. It's short. And the rebound, Jasmine Johnson has it for the Thunderbolts. That'll do it here. 40 seconds to go. Thunderbolts by 14. On to the left side to Tule Sue Anderson. She's whacked at by Ziegler. Tule Sue just takes it. No call. Now to Tule Sue on the left wing. Just holding the ball there. Now we'll hand it off to Jasmine Johnson. 10 on the shot clock. 22 to go in the game. Jasmine now. Backs her way in. Goes to Tule Sue. Quick fire three on the way. Air ball. Rebound saved. It comes outside. Shot clock was going to expire anyway. It's out of bounds. But the Thunderbolts used up almost every bit of that shot clock there. Inbounds pass to Robinson. Ten to go in the quarter here. In the game. Outside to Ziegler. Going to pop a three-pointer on the way. Missed it. Rebound to the baseline. Batted out of bounds by Cunningham. It'll belong to the Rangers with 3.6 seconds to go.
Ball inbounded into the corner to Johnson. Goes out of bounds. Off the leg of Johnson. So it'll be Thunderwolves ball. So they get the, uh, do the formality of inbounding. It's the equivalent of victory formation. As the inbounded to Jasmine Johnson. She has one of her number one fans across the way. Says, Jazzy J takes my breath away. Thunderwolves win it. 65-51. Back with our post-game show on Fox Sports Pueblo. Welcome back to Regent Fieldhouse. Thunderwolves win the ball game. Final score is 65 to 51. We're going to bring out Angie Moore tonight to talk. We haven't talked to Angie all year. All apologies to the Molly Roar fan club who had 19 points, 17 of them in the second half. Angie Moore had 10 in the first half when the game was a little bit in doubt. So we're going to cut her some slack and bring her on out here to talk. We've talked to Molly. Plenty of times this year. We'll talk to her, I'm sure, again as the season goes along. But that's going to be our post-game guest here in a moment. We'll also talk to Jim Turgeon. Remind you again, the final score here. Thunderwolves win it 65-51. to The uh, men's game will start uh, about five minutes later than scheduled here tonight. But the teams are out warming up on the court. Come back after this timeout. We'll have our interviews. They all come your way next. Thunderwolves basketball on Fox Sports Pueblo. Welcome back to Regis Fieldhouse. Thunderwolves win the ball game 65-51. to 51. And joining us, a jubilant head coach, Jim Turgeon, as well. He should be. I mean, that was a great effort in the second half to uh, win that ball oh, game. You're gosh. facing a lot of challenges out there. We really were. We had uh, Taylor Long in foul trouble. And then most importantly, Katie, I don't know how many minutes she played, but it's not even near what she normally right. plays. And... Uh, and to hold them to 23 points on their home court, you know, you know, we've been pretty successful at taking what teams want to do away and, and make them do things they're not comfortable with, and I think we did that second half. Well, you mentioned Katie got in foul trouble in the first half, and it just seemed like the fouls away from the ball had to be driving you nuts in this game. That's what my old friend Dave Socher taught me way back when. Always beware of the foul away from the ball yeah. against your best player, yeah. and you got a victim of that a couple times tonight, but the team really found some other places. I thought Angie Moore was uh, dynamite in that first half getting scoring yeah. yeah the first half we were we're doing our stuff right but we we're just going way too fast and then angie was the only one she was completely calm she caught the ball in the middle saw there was no trap and made her move everybody else was like on hyper speed and and uh you know i couldn't get t to slow down i couldn't get molly to slow down and and angie really was a savior of the first half in the uh, third quarter I know going to the locker room, you see a player score, what you have, 22 at halftime. Ziegler had 22 at halftime. Even Joe Folda came over and goes, what's going on out there? I go, hey, they worked it on the scout. She's just beating the scout. But uh, in the third quarter, the defense seemed to get more up on her, not giving her any room to breathe. Yeah, we uh, we weren't playing smart. Well, first, Katie was supposed to guard her. And she had a couple on Katie, and Katie got in foul trouble. And I tried a couple of different people. Once we put Taylor on her, it got a little bit better, but she's bigger than Taylor. And then the second half, we just weren't. We were playing two basketball turns. We were too flat. We need to be towards the ball more, so we're harder to screen. And we didn't, we didn't do that. And once we figured that out, we guarded her. Yeah, I thought even Katie Jones off the bench did a good job. Yeah. You know, scrambling, getting in on her. Yeah. You know, let's let's talk. Let's go back to Angie. You know, that kid before I got here was a starter. She's scoring lots of points game. This year, she's had a fantastic attitude. Just worked her tail off, and I'm so happy for her to have a game like this. And then same thing with Maddie, a bigly, and then you mentioned. Katie Jones. I mean, they gave us something. I mean, we weren't rebounding at all. Those two, maybe they didn't get rebounds, but they were knocking people around. Right, exactly. And, uh, and those kids, you know, those kids don't get any credit. They don't get to come talk to you after the game. Yeah, that's right. And they don't get on the on our sports channel at the school and everything, but they're very, very important to our team. And then, of course, we say all that, but then the star, Molly Rohr, just dynamite when she gets that attitude down low, wanted that ball. She missed a number of shots tonight, but she made enough of them to get you some separation. Yeah, I don't know. I, you know, it's pretty bad, but I think Molly played bad. She still might have been player of the game. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if she was tired. I know early she was rushing, and then maybe a little fatigue set in. But then you're right. She got that look in her eye, and and she was got she was not going to be denied. And goddamn, I'm glad she's on our team. Well, it's a, a huge victory. Now you got that three game separation from everybody. You can afford a hiccup. I know you don't want a hiccup, yeah. but at least you can kind of go. You know what? Now we can have a bad day, yeah. and it won't kill us. Yeah, exactly. Because. 
you know, they're still going to shoot for us. We got, you know, we got Fort Lewis next weekend, and we we played really well there. And kind of embarrassed them, and, and I know that team, and I know that coach. They're going to they're going to be shooting for us. And then, you know, I, you know, I can't look past anybody. Anybody can beat us on a given night. We're not we're not unbeatable, that's for sure. Well, there he is, the head coach of the undefeated. Give me your hand, everybody. I want to shake it. I want some magic to rub off on me. Jim Turgeon, the head coach of the Thunderbolts, back with more right after this on Fox Sports Pueblo. Welcome back to Regis Fieldhouse. Thunderbolts win the ball game 65-51. And joining us now, our star of the game, is uh, Jim Turgeon said one of the unsung heroes for the Thunderbolts, Angie Moore, the pride of Katy, Texas. <laughs> and that was a great first half you had in this ball game. I thought it was instrumental in keeping you guys not only into the game, but in the lead in that first half. Yeah, it was nice to just come off the bench and be able to help my team in any way. And my shots just happened to fall, so and I got really good passes from my teammates. So. Well, Jim Turgeon talks about it. Your head coach coming in. You've had to take a maybe a lesser role on the ball club, but I'm sure you don't look at it as that way. I am a very important cog. When you get in here, you have to do damage. Yeah, I mean, that's how I feel my role. Like, obviously, Molly's one of the best post players in the conference, if not the region. And um, so, you know, she's doing really well, and whatever I can do coming off the bench, I want to do and help my teammate out. So. Well, you look at this ball game. Might be sexy jacking up all those threes like Siegler did, scoring all those points. But you look at your guys' total, 19 for Molly. You get 10 down on the block. Those 29 points mean so much more to a ball club, I think. Yeah, I really like, Molly's a great player, and um, just whenever our teammates can get us down low, um, it's awesome because we're just able to move the ball well and get each other open. Well, this is kind of a battle royale out there tonight. They're a very physical ball club, and last year they embarrassed you kind of on the rebound. I think you got rebounded like 27 boards, something like that yeah. number. And uh, they may have got you out rebounded a little bit tonight by two, but it was a much more even fight tonight. Yeah, definitely. It was definitely a focus for us to um, get out and rebound and board more. Um, last year, I got hurt in the middle of the game, so this is kind of a way for us to just get a redemption back, so I think we're really happy with this win. Well, it's time to tell everybody back in Texas, hello, back there in Katy. Hi, everyone, back in Katy. <laughs> there she is, the star of the game. Stay with me when we go to break. Okay. You're, you're, you're experienced. you got to know this. We're going to take this time out. We'll back. We'll talk to Ralph Turner right after this on Fox Sports Pueblo. Welcome back to Regis Fieldhouse. Uh, we can't find Ralph Turner. We're going to put him on live here to talk with us before the ball game, but he has escaped. Again, uh, my digital recorder missing. I left it in Chadron somewhere last night, so somebody has a nice new digital recorder. But that one had a lot of miles on it. I was due for a new one anyway. Let's give you a recap of the women's game here. Thunwolves uh, opened up the lead early, led it uh, 11 to 6, but then Regis reeled them in. We actually had a number of lead changes, five lead changes in the first quarter alone. Thunderwolves eventually we led it 18 to 16 at the end of one. Uh, we were last tied at 20 apiece. Then the Thunderbolts went on a 6-0 run, got the lead to 26 to 20, got the lead up to seven at 32 to 25. A three-pointer by Ziegler at the end of the first half, cut it to four at 32 to 28. Thunderbolts though on an excellent start to the second half. They raced to an 11-point lead at 43 to 32. Continued to push, had the lead to 15 at 50 to 35, led it by 16 at 52 to 36 before leading by only 14 at the end of the quarter. Uh, Regis then had their best stint of the ball game after the Thunderbolts got the first bucket of the fourth quarter to make it 54-38. The Rangers then scored eight in a row, had it down to an eight-point gap at 54-46, to but then Lauren Heim with a critical three-point play when the Thunderbolts really needed it. Got them back ahead by 11, then a three-point bucket made it 60-46, to and the Thunderbolts really never looked back after that as they are able to win it down the stretch, eventually winning the ball game 65-51. to Molly Rohr, the leading scorer tonight, 19 points, 17 of those coming in the second half. Tule Sue Anderson with 11. Angie Moore, our star of the game interview, 10 points. All of them in the first half when the Thunderbolts really needed her production when they were struggling a bit offensively. Katie Cunningham with 7. Taylor Long with 5. Hine with four, and let's not forget, of course, Jasmine Johnson, who had three three-pointers, four nine. Thunderbolts were 24-56 from the field. That's 43%. They were 6 of 14 shooting threes. That's 43%. 11 of 15 from the free throw line, 73%. For Regis tonight, their leading scorer, Mary Ziegler, ends up with 29 points, 22 of them in the first half. Finishes the game, 10 of 20 from the field. She was 7 of 14 from downtown, 2 of 3 from the free throw line for the game high, 29 points. Majesty, or Majesty Robinson also made it into the double figure. She had 10. Shelby Espinosa from 8. But after that, slim picking. Shante Church had a field goal for 2. 
Jasmine Snipes with a field goal for two. They were 15 of 61 from the field. Moultrie, 25 percent. Nine of 36 from downtown. That's 25 percent. Only 12 of 19 from the free throw line. That's 63 percent. They do out-rebound the Thunderwolves, 41 to 39. Espinosa had 12 to lead the way there. Church had eight. For the Thunderwolves, their leading rebounders, he always is. Katie Cunningham had 10. Hine, Johnson, and Moore with five apiece to help the Thunderwolves cause there. 11 assists credited to Regis on their 15 made baskets. Thunderwolves only credited with 10 assists on 24 made baskets. Long with three to lead the way there. Beagley had two off the bench. 11 turnovers for the Thunderwolves, 10 for Regis. Thunderwolves had seven block shots in the game. Cunningham credited with one. Hine credited with two. Gore, Moore, and Jones all with one apiece. I think you can look back at the film of that one and find a few more if you want to. Thunderwolves sports information staff. I don't know if you're allowed to do that, but uh, I would. Uh, steals, Thunderwolves credited with three. Six steals. Majesty Robinson with three to lead the way for Regis. We had on the night a total of six lead changes. The game was tied on three different occasions. Biggest lead of the game tonight for Regis is when they led by two at six to four. Biggest lead for the Thunderwolves is when they led it by, uh, let's see, 16? 16 on two different occasions at 52 to 36 and again at 54 to 38. Final score, Thunderwolves win at 65 to 51. Back with the men's game right after this on Fox Sports Pueblo.